Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing very fine. So today we are going to discuss the interview questions that is most frequently asked in interview questions for medical coding. So basically we are focusing on the non-certified medical coder. Non-certified means there are certifications are available like HCC certification, HCPCS certification, then in coding, out coding, outpatient coding, then uh, CPC. So out of this CPC is major certification. Uh, but if you are not certified, you are uh, like you are completed your graduation and directly applying for the job you are called it as a non certified core and in that case these kind of the questions will be asked so in today's video we are going to discuss the non certified professional coder uh, interview questions for the fresher so go through all the questions i also provide the answers okay so if you are new to our channel let me tell you our channel provides various career opportunity information interview preparation tips and the related information if you are interested the jobs related to the pharmaceutical industry and also interview preparations and certification courses don't forget to subscribe our channel so let's get start so the first question is what is medical coding basically you need to know what do you mean by medical coding medical coding is an activity which is a transformation of a clinical information of the patient to universally accepted alphanumerical code so these codes are involved from the dictionaries okay so the next question may be how many dictionaries are present in the medical coding so basically there are three dictionaries involved first is icd international classification of disease then common procedural terminology that is cpc cpt and hcpcs healthcare common procedure coding system three dictionaries are involved in all the operations next question will be what is the job responsibility of the medical coder so so basically medical coder has to check the documentation which are received from the hospitals and then he or she has to assign the codes according to the disorder according to the surgery whatever the conditions are there and then next you have to cross verify and then submit to the next department which is medical billing department so what are the basic responsibility uh, like how you can tell this so let us discuss so uh, first maintaining patient record then reviewing medical documentation then coding and abstracting patient encounter then researching and analyzing data then ensuring codes are sequentially corrected then communicating with healthcare staff then identifying anomalies next question is what is revenue cycle management revenue cycle management is whole operations like from the patient enters into the clinic and till the bill is generated okay so that is the whole cycle is revenue cycle management so how we can explain so revenue cycle management is a process uh, healthcare organization organizations used to manage financial operations related to billing and collecting revenue for medical services so it begins when a patient uh, schedule an appointment and end when the account balance is resolved through reconciliation of insurance payment contractual uh, adjustments uh, right of or patient payments next question is what do you mean by hipaa it is a basically the regulation which maintains the confidentiality of information so hipaa uh, is health insurance portability and accountability act it is a set of regulation that protects patient sensitive information including medical coding okay. question will be what do you mean by icd 10 what do you mean by cpt what do you mean by hcpcs so how you can explain these all question answers ICD-10 is coding system used to clarify, classify and code diagnosis in healthcare. It provides a standardized way to document disease, conditions and injuries for statistical and billing purposes. CPT, it is current procedural terminologies uh, coding system developed by American Medical Association for documenting medical procedures, surgeries and services. It is widely used for billing and reporting medical services. HCPCS is healthcare common procedure coding system. It is a coding system that is used for describing healthcare procedure and services that are used not covered by CPT codes. It includes code for medical supplies, equipment and services provided by to medical beneficiaries. Next question, what is the first use of uh, international classification system? To identify communicate communicable diseases to identify regional uh, epidemics to identify how many people are getting medical care to identify cause of death next question enlist the benefits of icd 10 cm uh, so the use and benefits like first for following utilization uh, resource preventing healthcare fraud and determining health policy then assessing reason for uh, hospital visits reporting vaccinations and creating an uh, anonymous uh, medical report how many ICD-10 codes are there? So more than 69,000 codes are there for the ICD-10. What are the ICD-10 code for the hypertension? And what are the code for the depression? For the depression, F32 
to F32.9 and for the hypertension I10 to I16. How many characters are present in ICD 10 cm? So basically there are seven characters present in ICD 10 cm. Next one, what do you mean by keratoplasty? So keratoplasty is a term which is used for replacing damaged cornea. Okay, so damaged cornea will be replaced by the healthy, uh, healthy human tissues. How many types of circulations are present in a human body? So it is pulmonary, coronary and systematic. Then what do you mean by epistaxis? So it is a loss of blood from the lining of the nose. It, it is known as epistaxis. Okay. Next and last question, what do you mean by DVT? It means deep vein thrombosis. Okay. So these are the mostly asked questions for the non-certified medical coder. But basically there are a lot of demand for the certified coders as well in the industry. So if you want to know the basic medical coding, we have basic medical coding course. Uh, and if you want to build your career and uh, want to crack the exam for the CPC, certified professional coder, definitely we are also providing a three month training program in the CPC medical coding. So in the description, I'm given all the details. Kindly call to this number for getting more details. In our course, we provide you domain knowledge, skill development and placement assistance to each student. So I hope this video will bring more insight about the medical coding interviews. For such more info informative videos, kindly subscribe our channel, kindly follow our channel and, and share with your uh, friends and colleagues as well. Thank you for watching this video. Keep learning. Keep growing.